We are finally trying out the heavily requested Zet Aspects mod. I had to add a little Trento Mento spice to it. So in this run, every enemy will spawn as an elite. Aspects drop from every single kill and the aspects stack infinitely. And it turned out just as ridiculous as you would expect. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh boy, do I have a fun one for you today. I mean, you guys know. You guys know the title. You guys saw the thumbnail. And you guys see the artifact in the corner. We are playing with honor today. Which means uh, we get elites. And only elites. And every elite drops their aspect. Now let's go over what's going to happen here. I pick up an aspect. It adds to my inventory. We can see what it does. Uh, okay, well, we, we shouldn't take too long because we do need to not die. But each item stacks individually from each other, and we can just keep stacking them. One item per kill. We'll go pick everyone up. I have auto item pickup on. But the problem is these kind of count as equipment, so it doesn't quite work. Chests are just uh, goat hoof, which means I won't probably grab a lot of them. We'll have goat hoofs, and obviously item auto item pickup will get those. So if we pick up a chest, we get a goat hoof just to move around a little bit faster. This is by mo by no means a difficult run. This is gonna be an easy run. I'll tell you that for sure. So every different one of these does something different. So attacks chill enemies on hit for four seconds, reducing movement speed. Oh, oh, we still take a lot of damage. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Understandable. Um, but I want to read some of these because these are really fun. Because these things, as you can see, are gonna stack extremely fast. We do get uh, drones. I mean, I don't really know if I want to grab them too much. But we'll get another goat hoof. Let me explain how the chests work. So normal chests will always drop a goat hoof. Uh, green items will always be death mark. Because I figured that would be very fun. And a uh, red chest will always drop Dios. You know, just to avoid any accidental gaffes on my end. And there is our first death mark. I think we can already proc death mark. We can. Yeah. Yeah, we can 100%. Okay, let's just go do TP, I guess. <laughs> we'll run over really quick and do it. Uh, this run should get pretty crazy pretty fast. I don't know how much, like, armor we're necessarily going to have. Like, you know, damage reduction. Because we only have the aspects, but we'll see. Let's see how we do. Okay, I like the fr the freeze. And we have, like, automatic guillotine because of the freeze. So that's really nice. Uh, I am curious how we're going to do against enemies like golems. Or obviously all the bosses will also be elite. So let's find our... Our TP and hit it. TP is over here. Here's our goat hoof printer. It's the only item that can possibly spawn that is white. TP. Okay. Let's do it. I am curious how insane this is going to be. I hope we don't take too much damage. Wisps are probably the most important thing to deal with because they're going to deal a lot of damage. How do we do? How do we do against the Beetle Queen here? We'll send over some things. We got Beetle Guards. Oh, we do damage. Oh, we do damage. We most certainly do. Oh, yeah. No, this is going to be a fun one. Ladies and gentlemen, strap in. I've been wanting to do a Zet Aspects mod for a long time. Uh, it just, I haven't gotten around to it. And now finally I get to and we are stacking these like crazy. We have Deathmark on everything for quite a while. And I'm very excited to get to the moon because everything is going to be perfected. And we're going to get so many perfected aspects before we touch metrics. Okay, now that we've cleared stage one, let's take a look. So, the Biting Embrace. Chill. On hit for four seconds, reducing movement speed, and they have a six plus six percent chance, meaning we will hit a hundred percent very quickly. Uh, to freeze enemies, attacks fire a blade that deals twenty percent total damage plus ten percent every stack. That's nasty. Silence between two strikes. We sap on hit, convert into shield, gain health as extra shield, attach bombs. We get the fire gain maximum jump count. Oh, stop. Oh, oh, oh stop. Uh, is that true? Hold on. Because right now we only have two jumps. Maybe that's just plus. Oh, well, yeah, wait, because it's not a stack. It's plus one max. So we get a jump anyway. Increases movement speed. Oh, wait. 
Maybe we don't need goat hooves. We'll take three and that'll be it. Movement speed we already get, so that's beautiful. Healing, we get regen. We get to poach on hit. Who knows what that means? So we get to leech some stuff off and then death mark. We all know what it does. We all know what it does. Let's move on to stage two. So yeah, we really don't need any uh, items. Because uh, obviously, right, these guys, we don't, they're only goat hooves. We don't need any. I didn't know that if it's just, uh, what is it? If it's distinction? If it's defunction? What is it? If it's distinction. Okay, I had it right. I didn't know that gave you movement speed, so that's really cool to know. And here's the thing, we kinda, it's similar to any, uh, like, sacrifice run. I can really decide, yeah, how much effort do I want to put in here? How long do I want to stack stuff up? Because on one hand, I do want the video to be a full-length video, but at the same time, we don't really need to do a whole lot. So <laughs> let's head over and hit TP right away at the seven and a half minute mark. What are we looking at? Blazing Clay Dune Strider? That is a little scary, but we do pretty good damage. We'll just go to town. We'll do our work, because if these things hit me, that's going to hurt a lot, because we are still commando, right? I don't even know if we have any damage reduction. We do have our healing, which is obviously super helpful, uh, but we got to be extra safe. I don't really want to get, uh, yeah, I don't want to get healed off of too much. Oh, get up there. Get up there. Come on. Send it over. Oh, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Look at all the aspects in there, and we'll just go. We'll just go as much as we can. Throw our grenades in. And there it is. Let's start collecting. Look at all these aspects we just get to grab. We're not going to have any wave clear. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize that he didn't die. We're not going to have any wave clear, uh, which isn't the end of the world. At least I don't think we do. We might in a secret aspect somewhere, but I don't think that'll be a problem. I brought phase blast for that specifically. That'll help a lot. And let's just pick up all of our winnings. And there was a death mark, but I think it... Oh, it. I forgot auto item pickup was on. Yeah, so death mark, we have another one. I like death mark stacking because it's just duration, not actual damage. So we'll be stacking that. So everything will have death mark on it if we need it to because... Yeah, we're going to have debuffs on everything all the time. And quite frankly, stage two, done without a hitch. Let's see right now what our damage is against the newt because clearly we are super strong. Could I have gotten bans? Probably. I don't actually know how that works. I would imagine we would get bans. Uh, let's see how much damage we do against Newt. We are actually strong. We do have 1,300 health. All right, Newt. What do you got for me? How is it? I mean, it's not that crazy. I want... Oh, I missed Scorched Acres. That's sad. We'll go, though. Wait, is Newt elite? No. Okay, that would have been cool. But we did get kicked out of Newt stage two, which means we are pretty strong. Sulfur pools. Yeah, I mean, I saw it coming. I saw it coming. I, I should have seen it coming. Uh, you know... I, I should have clicked on Scorched Acres maybe a little bit earlier, but you live and you learn. Equipment. Okay, let's get enough money for this equipment because I very much want it. What do we have here? Oh, a recycler. <laughs> That's crazy. A gun, a cube, a recycler. Honestly, I might just grab cube. Oh, okay. So this guy's scary and I don't love it, but we... Oh, why? We do a lot of damage. Maybe... Oh, I was going to say, maybe we grab ourselves a pillar skip, but I actually don't mind the backup. It's kind of fun. Put some uh, drones different places, and let's find TP. Oh, of course it's under this. Ew, what a gross spot, because you know the Beetle Queen's going to spawn on top. Watch. Oh, it's a Clay Dune Strider. Still on top, though, and it's mending. Let's go, baby. Let's go, Clay Dune Strider. What you got? What you got for me? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa. I mean, I mean, yeah, we, we all saw it coming, but I just didn't quite expect it to be that intense. You know, I mean, we are going crazy. Obviously, Deathmark helpful, but again, it stacks duration of Deathmark, not the damage of it. So that's purely just like the same as one Deathmark in theory. And I love the free movement speed it gets us. This game, this is honestly meant for this kind of thing. Obviously not to this extent, but you could probably play normal sacrifice with honor and have these be the only things that drop like at actual normal sacrifice levels. And it would be a pretty good run. Obviously, this is going to be way overpowered but there really is a way to make this kind of normal because you're obviously going to have good damage you're going to have good movement speed you get an extra jump it kind of covers all the bases healing you get shield you get everything you would need in a normal run you just have to balance how many drop the one thing that i'm realizing we don't get any buff on and maybe the perfected ones do give me a buff we don't get any attack speed buff unfortunately we still have very normal attack speed, but I don't know what the perfected one does. I have no idea how it stacks. And maybe we grab cube. I really don't think we'll need it at all. I don't, I don't think we'll need it even a little bit, uh, but we might as well, right? Oh, hello, sir. Oh, hello, sirs. We got a lot of people down here. Let me get these last three. We'll go bop, 
bop, bop, and stage three is complete. We get Siren's Call, which means we're gonna have a an elemental Awu, which is very fun. But let's see, if we just stand still, we, yeah, yeah we most certainly move through this. Let's not die to that thing. And we'll, uh, it's done. And it's done. And it's just that simple. We can get our Dio's from Awu. If I find a little eggs, let's take a little peek around. Egg, 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 and egg. Cool. All right, Awu. What do you got for me? How much do we do? How much damage do we do? If we use our secondary, we just go crazy? I mean, it's a ton. I mean, it's an absolute boatload. It's an insane amount of damage that shouldn't be allowed. And he did shield, which is a little weird. But my goodness, we got bleed. We don't have bleed. We have fire. We have all my little extra shots from overloading coming in. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. And we should get a Dio's. Beautiful. Just in case something goes wrong on stage four, I still get to show you guys the Mythrix fight without having to restart, uh, which is wonderful. And we're right here. Obviously, we're good in Teleporter. We'll start to collect our little aspects everywhere. Blazing Wandering Vagrant. Oh, wow. I mean, yeah. It's just going to be like this. It's just going to be... Insane damage, insane fire, and it's dead. And teleporter is as easy as that. I'll put the cube down, and everything over there can just instantly perish. Yeah, that's why I love Primordial Cube. And look, we can just go over here and pick it all up. Look at the death mark in there. Death mark giving us 50% damage boost. Nah, you're not hitting me with that. No shot. Oh, now I have an interesting question. Oh, do I have an interesting question? Usually, Aspects are obviously your equipment slot. Mythrix does not take your equipment, and that's wonderful. However, these being items, I don't know if Mythrix steals these or not, and that is a scary thought. I genuinely have no clue if he is going to take all of these from me, or if I'm going to have the easiest Phase 4 you've ever seen, or maybe I skip Phase 4 with some part of one of the aspects. I don't know. I'm scared. Watch this. Satisfying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, clean up crew coming in big. Beautiful. Any other aspects anywhere on the map? I do not think so. Sir, did you see what I just did? You got nothing. We might as well get one more death mark literally for no reason. Six death marks means it lasts longer. Off to, whoa. We do, we do almost have too much attack speed or movement speed. But uh, I'm not complaining. Sky Meadow, the Titanic skin is so good. The green skin is so unbelievably nice. It's not even funny. Let's find out where Teleporter is. Way over here. The speed at which we move. The speed at which we move is crazy. Let's, uh, I guess, grab a capsule. And I see this guy coming. But I'm just not concerned. Our attack speed is slow. But our rate of killing is most certainly not. Okay, with about 50 of each aspect, uh, let's do teleporter. I mean, it's like we're not going to not be able to do it. We'll just run right there, blazing grandparent. I am going to drop this right here just for anything nearby that happens to want to hang out. All right, grandparent, what you got? What you got for me? Don't throw the rock. Don't throw the rock. Don't do that. That's weird. That's weird and kind of cringy that you'd want to do that. The healing drone from stage one is still here, and you gotta, you gotta love that. You gotta love the commitment to the team. But the one drone has survived this whole way. Uh, then we'll just finish off this teleporter. We'll look for maybe another equipment that I want to use, but I don't think I want to use any other ones. Cube is good with me, and we'll head off to the moon and start to farm some perfected aspects. And we're pretty strong. You can see when things hit me. I mean, nothing's really hitting me right now, but if they did... Like, we take damage, right? We're not, like, invincible, but we're no commando. Okay, I got a couple more drones just for fun. We have collected all of the aspects we have before. Moving on to the moon, we have 70 uh, ice aspects, 62 fire aspects, and now the numbers are gone, and I don't know what they are. And 58 overloading aspects and 54 healing. Now we get to farm some perfected. Everything out here is going to be perfected. I don't think we're running into too much because we are at 21 minutes, right? We are, we are very early into a run, but everything has to be perfected. So everything's dropping an aspect. I have no idea how they're going to stack. It is time to find out. Uh, I actually can't find out because it's still, it's, it's trying to catch up on the bottom. So let me go over here real quick and fast. Here we go. We get... Periodically fire projectiles, bang, they cripple, we get movement speed, movement speed increases, 
We get a shield. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I mean, it's really good. Oh, and I, I didn't even realize these are just normal aspect guys. So, like, that was a fire roly-poly, which is really interesting. I assumed they would all be perfected, but look at this guy. I think this is ice. He's an ice guy. He is an ice guy. That is weird. So, it seems like the perfected aspects are actually going to come from true perfected enemies. So, let's go look for a couple. This is most certainly not one. So, sir... You don't frighten me even a little bit. Thank you so much. Let's see if we can find any more perfected. Now, here's what I'm going to do. My movement speed is maybe a little too fast. So, let's grab one more death mark. Oops. And uh, we'll get rid of three goat hoofs. Because we just don't need that much speed. The one goat hoof was already a mistake. And here's the thing. I don't know if we have enough movement speed to pillar skip. Uh, we don't. So, we have to do pillars anyway, which is great. So, let's see if we can find some more... Uh, perfected dudes while we're doing this. Oh, there's one. I think that was a perfected one. Good, good, good. I want to get like five. It'd be cool to have at least a couple. Only one is a little lame for literally being on the moon. So I'll look around. It was another perfected. There is two perfected aspects in our inventory. Yo, the size of these pillars on non-eclipse is crazy. At 50%, it's this big. <laughs> Where's that in my eclipse runs? Oh my, this is the best thing ever. Oh, the blazing. Wait, I don't actually don't want to kill that one. I want him to like unfreeze. Look at how cool the blazing one looks. Yo, that looks awesome. Blazing uh, lunar golem looks incredible and I need more of that in my life. Actually, that might not have been blazing. Looking at it now, uh, that might have been uh, mended. That, I don't I don't even know. Now I'm confused. I'm also going to go over and do mass because those are going to take the longest, which means the most time for other things to spawn. Yeah, what is it? Is this healing? Might be healing, actually. Uh, it is. It's a mending. Okay, those look also really cool. Oh, here we go. We got a true perfected. Give me your aspect, please. Yep. There's another one. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I thought that was perfected. Man, I'm getting bamboozled here. There's the fire one. The fire one does still look cool. I think it's pretty similar to the healing one. It's that, like, dark, dark red kind of thing. I enjoy it. Now, while we wait for these to charge, here is the interesting question. Not only do I not know if Mythrix is going to steal my Aztecs, but I don't know what aspect Mythrix is going to be. Because I think Mythrix is an aspect. And I think it's, is it completely random? Is it, like, a percent thing? Like, a lottery? I don't know. I'm hoping it's not... I mean, I think we'd kill him either way, but I'm hoping it's not something really scary. Perfected Mythrix would be kind of dope, though. I mean, I can't lie. That would be very fun. We got another true perfected uh, element here. We got another aspect. Give that. We have three of them. Let's finish off this TP. Maybe get a fourth and head up. And all we got was two more mending ones. And then what is, what is this one? This is the ice. Yeah, so that. Not the best. And I think we are all done with enemies. Three perfected aspects oh, let's get up there oh mythy boy oh mythy boy sir oh i'm too high oh i'm too high okay well we're gonna be falling in the cutscene <laughs> which actually looks great sir i don't know if you're ready i do not know if you're prepared for this here we go how much damage do we do oh it's crazy and he is is that perfected is he perfect no he's overloading overloading mythrix is still pretty cool uh not perfected unfortunately but that is all right. I'm just going to put this right there just to make fun of him. Just to really tease him, not be able to move at all. Oh, that sucks, dude. That really sucks. <laughs> this is crazy. It's very interesting to have overloading Mythrix, though. Meaning if we stop doing damage, which we have no reason to ever do, uh, he will regen his health. or regen at least the shield part. So that's one thing we got to keep in mind, at least for Phase 3, when there are other enemies around, you know. Keep it in mind a little bit, but I'm not too concerned. Oh, I thought you were going to jump. You got me bamboozled for sure. Phase two should be just as easy. Everything is going to be a different type, though. Uh, let's see if it's all overloading. No, cool. Okay, fire. I want to look at the fire guy, actually. Don't, uh, do not kill him yet. You're gone. Oh, the fire guy died. Are there any more fire ones? Yeah, look at how cool he looks. I just love it. I just love it so much. None of these are actually perfected, which is very sad. I don't know if they actually can spawn perfected. Uh, on phase two in honor. I actually have no idea. Uh, but let's go. Oh, Mythic spawns is healing. I didn't know he could change mid mid battle. That's that's awesome. All right. Well, now we got mending Mythic, which means he regens uh, like constantly, which isn't the greatest thing ever. I want all these aspects. Goodbye, Mr. Gollum. I think you look cool, but you don't need to be here. Let's take on Mythic as phase three. Bang bang, and we'll just start going. We'll use our phase blast. We'll use our grenades when he jumps. Here we go. Let's stack all of our fire. 
stack it all. We got the perfected Aztec piece coming out. Boop, boop. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Let's get you out of here so I don't want to have to deal with it. Grenade, grenade. Bang. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's beautiful. We are going to have to avoid pizza. Not too concerned of us getting hit by it. Okay. You're not allowed to jump like that. It's cheating. Let's do it. Pizza time. Cool. Cool. Whoop. We are really fast, so I gotta worry we're not too fast for pizza. We just gotta <laughs> watch the ground, be very safe with it. Wow, he's taking a ton of damage. Again, I don't know if we skip phase four. And I also don't know if he changes aspect for phase four. That'll be interesting as well. Does he change again for the last phase? I have no idea. He is so slow though. Look at <laughs> look at him move unbelievably slowly. Mythrix is done. No skipping phase four. That's okay. Let's grab the oh. Oh, a little high. Oh, a little high. Oh, this might hurt when I hit the ground after it takes my items. Ow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. He left one, which is weird. I'm very concerned because he stole everything else. <gasps> oh, I don't know if we win this one. Oh, I don't know if we win this one, Chief. Oh, I don't think we win this one. Oh, I don't think we win this one. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> we do not win that. We do not. He steals everything, I would imagine, except either the first or last one you picked up. Mending was not going to help us beat Mythrix there. There was no chance, especially with all the attack speed he gets. But that is to be uh, that is to be expected with these type of runs. Once Mythrix gets those items, we are in a lot of trouble. If you want to try this mod out for yourself, link in the description below. Or if you simply want to see how the other aspects I didn't do in this video stack. That being said, hope y'all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.